Welcome back to the Mindset Masterclass channel. Today we're pleased to offer the latest installment of our new Millionaire Mind series. The videos in this series offer a brief introduction to inspirational entrepreneurs and focus on their career achievements rather than the personal gossip and speculation you might find in the tabloid press. The subject of today's profile is serial entrepreneur Jack Dorsey. Dorsey was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1971 and as a child developed a keen interest in maps and cities. When his father brought home a PC to work on remotely from his office, the teenage Dorsey set about learning how to utilize computers to create and operate maps. Despite having little interest in computers himself, the future entrepreneur soon developed skills in computer programming. He would later compare programming to starting a business by saying, programming is just a mental model of asking essential questions being able to identify problems into smaller parts, go after each of the smaller parts, and be able to create a solution around them. The model applies to creating companies too. The self-taught programmer combined his passion for maps with his tech know-how to develop programs for dispatching taxis, couriers, and ambulances. He enrolled at the University of Missouri in 1995 before transferring to the prestigious New York University in 1997. However, he did not complete his studies. During his time at NYU, Dorsey came up with the idea of a computer application that would update his friends and family of his status in real time. Dorsey relocated to Tecmecca, California to start up a business providing his mapping and dispatch solutions to other companies. Still inquisitive about his idea for a program which would update friends, Dorsey took an interest in AOL's Instant Messenger, which for those of you who are too young to remember was a messaging service on desktop computers in a time before smartphones and before social media was widespread. Dorsey studied the mechanics of instant messaging, specifically looking for a way to share the user's status to their friends. In those days, your status was simply an option you could choose from a predetermined list – online, away, busy, sleeping, or others. Dorsey approached audio and video aggregation company Odeo, which at the time was trying to move into the market of text messaging services. The entrepreneur found shared enthusiasm for the concept in Odeo's Christopher Biz Stone, who suggested that the status update feature should be brief, like an SMS message. Dorsey built a prototype platform in about two weeks. The idea attracted enthusiasm from other bosses at Odeo, including co-founders Evan Williams, previously of user-friendly publishing platform Blogger, and Noah Glass, previously of Macromedia, the company which developed the Shockwave and Flash programs, which were later acquired by Adobe. Together, Dorsey, Stone, Williams and Glass formed the Obvious Corporation, which acquired Odeo's assets and the new project of Dorsey's. The company developed the microblogging platform Twitter, which went live to the public in July 2006, with Dorsey initially serving as CEO. As of the first quarter of 2019, Twitter had more than 330 million monthly active users. It debuted on the US Stock Exchange in November 2013 with an initial offering price of $26 per share, and at the time of writing this sits at $60. The stock price has not been a consistent riser, having seen lows below $15 in 2016 and 2017. Dorsey's entrepreneurial itch was not satisfied by Twitter alone and the TechWiz went on to co-found Square, a mobile payment provider, in 2009. He formed the company with his friend Jim McKelvey after the latter ran into the problem of not being able to accept credit card payments for his boutique blown glass creations due to high operating costs. Square aspired to make it easier and cheaper for small businesses to accept credit cards as a form of payment, as well as a series of mobile payment devices the firm would develop software for businesses, including appointment booking and payroll applications. Square, after having launched its capital division in 2014, was granted a banking charter in 2020 and began commercial banking operations in 2021. In March 2021, Square announced a majority acquisition of streaming app Tidal for $297 million, hinting at further expansion into new markets. Square went public in 2015 with shares initially listed at $9 each. At the time of writing, the stock is now trading at $217 per share. Dorsey currently sits at number 173 
on Forbes' World's Billionaires list, with a net worth of $12.3 billion at the time of writing. In April 2020, Dorsey pledged $1 billion worth of Square stock, which he claimed to be approximately 28% of his wealth, to fund global COVID-19 relief. He has also been known to donate to programs working to improve girls' education and health, and to introduce universal basic income in multiple US cities. The tech tycoon is known to own homes in the Seacliff neighborhood of San Francisco, including two side-by-side -side properties overlooking the bay, as well as a house in the Hollywood Hills. Dorsey is well known as an advocate of cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, and has shown support for the digital currency on his personal Twitter account, as well as through his position as CEO of Square. The company allows the merchants it works with to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. The firm bought $230 million worth of Bitcoin in 2020 in two separate transactions, giving the company a total of 8,027 units of the cryptocurrency. At the time of writing, that would now be worth around $290 million. Who would you like to see us cover in the next installment of the Millionaire Mind series? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the Mindset Masterclass channel so you don't miss any of our other content focusing on entrepreneurship, investing and personal finance.